Hello again, Mr. Ed. Back from the Arkansas Adventure 2012 with uh, Chef Randy, photographer Max Bro, and uh, film director Mike D'Amico from Circle D. Wonderful trip, great memories. And before we left, I set a number of swarm traps in the back. Um, and today we're going to go back there and check them out. Now one of the boxes, there's five of them back there, one of the boxes have already had a swarm of bees in it and they've been in there for several weeks already. So I think we're about up to five weeks on that one right now. But there's four other ones, two of them I, I had moved and the other, all four of them are rebated. So we're going to go in the back and check to see uh, what kind of activity we have. I'm feeling pretty lucky about it and uh, got my fingers crossed, hopefully we caught some more bees. So let's go check it out. Come on, let's go. All right, this is the first box. I rebated this box 10 days ago. And this is a very, very large swarm. I may have to actually do something different about getting this hive of bees into a box. Like I say, they've only been here for 10 days. And uh, this is the most bees I've seen on a box. That's awesome. All right, so we're back at the second one now. And I moved this box here 10 days ago. I, I moved it from another location. And uh, I try to put the uh, boxes in, in areas around an, an open field. I actually caught a swarm in right in that tree right over there um, about a month ago in another trap and that's one I put up in one of the boxes up in the front and so I moved this one I like this field a lot so I moved the box another box into that location right in there for some reason maybe just because there's a lot of tallow trees around here I put them um, in, in tallow trees and so I seem to have a lot of success uh, putting them in the tallow trees. And as you can see, there's, there's bees flying around the opening of it right there. But we're going to get go in a little closer and get a better picture of that. So as you can see, I basically I cut a little path in the tree, clear out the tallow trees branches so that there's a, a clear path into them. And I just hang the box right onto a nice branch. I bait it with a little uh, lemon grass oil and stick that into the bottom, into that hole all the way to the bottom with a little uh, uh, foundation, wax foundation that's in the box and seems to be working real well. So that's two out of two that have been successful and like again this this box has been here for only 10 days is how long this box has been here so in 10 days we managed to uh, trap a swarm of bees alright so let's move on to number three alright here's box number three now I really like the location of where this box is I'll show you I've got it in a big area open area where I've got paths going this way going this way to it and there's a wide expanse of open area all around it and then right behind that bee box bee trap is a big pond and of course it's sitting in a tallow tree now, unfortunately, I have no taker-uppers in there right now. But this box has only been there again for 10 days. I just set this one out 10 days ago and rebaited it. And I have a good feeling about this one. I think we'll have some takers in there within the next week. Now, as you can see, nobody's at home. But that's only for today. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, so here we are, box number four. 
and there's no real activity around here right now. I have seen a few bees going in and out of it. Maybe we'll catch one going in in a second. The uh, This box has been here for about three weeks. And again, it's in a tallow tree. The pond is directly behind this. You can actually see the water in there. And, oh, there's a bee right there, let's see. You can see him flying around the opening going in. So if they haven't moved in right now, I'm certain that they're gonna, they'll be there, they'll be in here shortly. There he is, he's poking his head out of the hole right now. Cause these are uh, maybe just the scout bees trying to um, secure a place for him for the swarm to go. But like I said, in a tallow tree, cleared it out. And uh, I really like the location of this one too. I've got the openings, um, you know, on either side of it, on, on around it and in the back of it. And it's very close to the water and I like that too. And of course, inside of that tallow tree. I like the tallow trees. And there's a lot of bees flying around um, these tallow blooms right now. So it may just be that, but I have a feeling this, this one is gonna have a swarm in it within a week. Like I say, there's, there's one in the in the opening right there. But we'll find out. All right, let's go on to the next one. Now, the next one has been sitting there for um, a while, probably about four weeks, maybe five weeks. And there is a hot, there's a swarm in that one. They've been there for a while. And I'm getting ready to, to move that one up to, to the front uh, and, and transfer all the, the bees into it in one of the hives. So let's go ahead and, and uh, move up there. All right, so here we are at the fifth one. It's the last one. I chose this location because when I put this box here four or five weeks ago, the uh, blackberry bushes that you see all around here were all full of blooms. Well, since that time, the flowers have gone and so have the berries. There's still a few left. But they had all this food right here. And then on top of that, we have this pond right behind it. And as I was driving by here and I said, oh look, a tallow tree. So that's the reason I put it at the tallow tree. Now, the box has fallen or slipped because it used to be straight up. But as you can see, it doesn't really matter to the bees. This box, I'm getting ready to, uh, to move up to the front and, and take the bees out of here because they've been back here for too long anyway. So, within the next day or two, I'll come up here, plug up the hole, and bring it up to the front and put it in one of the boxes up in the front. So, as of right now, I have three boxes with bees in them which is really good. So this is this is the actual fourth swarm that I've managed to keep. So that's about all I've got for you right now. I ask you to keep watching and God bless always.